Much more on the Cardinals as we check in with Brett Hundley. The Cardinals quarterback wasn't drafted by the Cardinals, but the local boy came back home as fast as he could. And after signing a new contract with the Cardinals in the offseason, it looks like he could stay for a while. Okay, here we are with uh, Jet Set Brett. Uh, yeah, we, we finally <laughs> get you to, to stay in one place for a while. This is the only way we're going to get you to, to now, stay. Now I'm here. Yeah, now I'm not. I can't, I can't go anywhere now, so I'm, I'm here for a little bit. How are you holding up with this whole uh, coronavirus stuff? I, I'm, I'm doing good. Um, you know, obviously, I know so much is going on in the world right now, but um, for me, my family, friends, uh, everybody is doing good. Um, and, you know, uh, just trying to help out as much as I can, not only with myself, my family, but just with everybody. You know, I, I'm sure a lot of people like myself are giving back, so just trying to do as much as possible. I called you Jet Set Brett because you're everywhere. I mean, you're jet setting all across the world. Always. And the cool thing is, you got quite a bit of traveling in before you had to, yep. you know, shut her down. Yeah, yeah. I, I got, I actually got a good, somewhat of two months in before I had to, like, for sure fly back because I wasn't supposed to fly back when I did. I, I just had to because right. the Europe ban came on and I didn't want to get stuck or quarantined. But um, I, I went just about everywhere, man. Um, New Zealand. Budapest. I started in New Zealand. Then I went to um, then I went to Bali and then I went to uh, Budapest. And then from there I went to Dubai. I'm in the desert on some uh, ATV rolling. Probably not the safest thing, but it's all right. I'm having fun. All right, y'all. Stay tuned. Here we go. And then to Oman. And uh, now I'm looking for a taxi. This is the life, and you're traveling. And then from Oman to India to shoot the Holy Festival, and then that's when I was supposed to go to Spain. Um, I had two other places. I was supposed to go to Spain, and um, and there was one other, and South Korea. What part of Spain? I, uh, um, shoot, that's a Barcelona? great Barcelona? You got to say it right. Barcelona? Bar <laughs> is it what you roll the R? Bar no, no, no. <laughs> Barcelona? No, no. I, it was Barcelona or um, I forgot the other place, but I was supposed to take a train too within there. Um, but those last parts of my travel, I sort of book on the fly just in case I have to fly back. So it sort of works, worked out. So yeah, I had to come back. But What's it like when you travel and you go to these foreign countries and kind of just dive yourself into their culture and, and learn the lay of the land? Yeah, um, that I think that in itself is the best part about traveling is like learning new things and the culture. Um, this, you know, we were talking earlier and, and, and just, you know, we're so used to what we know in America. I mean, you go to the mall, you know what type of food you're going to get. You're going to see Panda Express, you know, all that stuff. Just for like a big difference, you go to China and you see a mall there. It's completely different. Like I've seen like live squid, octopus, like, and that's normal out there. So like the differences of what you get from each place you go to is the biggest opening of your mind and allowing, you know, not only myself, but people to understand that there's so much more to this world than what we are so, you know, stuck with in this bubble uh, being here. It's an awesome bubble, but, you know, there's just so much more to experience. And that's kind of you in a nutshell, because yep. you're much more than just an athlete exactly. or a football player. You're an artist. Yep. Uh, tell us about your photography. I mean, not only do you travel, you get some great shots on your adventures. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I think one of the biggest things when I travel is telling the story of what I'm doing. You know, it, it's awesome for me to be able to take it in with my own mind and my own eyes, but to be able to share the story and experience to others who aren't traveling necessarily with me, but are following along on my social media and all that stuff. Um, that's been the biggest thing. And for me, taking photos, uh, uh, doing videos for GoPro, uh, I think have been the awesome experience. And uh, just being able to do that, just show what I can do and, sh and just build uh, in my career and my uh, off season traveling uh, with photography has been awesome. I remember one time I was visiting my sister in Hungary. We went to, uh, you know, Italy and I'm eating pizza, looking at the Leaning Tower of Pisa right there. And I'm just like, wow, is this really happening? Yep. Give me one of those moments that you've had where you're like, really, am I really here? I, I've seen this festival where people are throwing colors all the time. And then I researched a little bit. I was like, all right, it's called the Holy Festival in India. You know, it's like three days. It's a week long, but the two, there's two main days. And I was like, I'll probably never get to that, but it, it's nice to look at. My boy Andrew Struder, Struder uh, hits me up, a big photographer, and he was like, hey, do you want to shoot this, come out to India with me? I'm going by myself, well, let's shoot this event. And I was like, okay, cool. Uh, you know, I was like, what, what event? He was like, the Holy Festival. And I was like, oh, I was like, okay, this is the event. I, I, okay, this is perfect, yeah. And so I got to shoot that and, and just, I for sure cannot explain that with, but I mean, just, I mean, you got colors of every sort being thrown at you off. It's, it's, it's really harder doing it, for, uh, photographing the event. <laughs> But 
that experience was hands down one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. So just a really cool um, time in these travels, especially my last travels. And if a photo could speak, that one photo where you're covered in pink yes. and your, your smile, I mean, yeah. that really that exudes the joy you were experiencing at that moment. Everything was embodied in that photo. <laughs> you got you got me smiling. You got somebody just completely. I mean, you probably think I'm getting smacked in the face. With yeah. the side, but the whole time you are. I mean, you got people just throwing smacking you with colors the best experience I've, I've had, hands down.